Hello everyone and welcome back to chapter 5 focused on word stress in nouns, verbs, and numbers. Here we're looking at word stress with two syllable verbs and many English verbs consist of what's called excuse me a prefix and a root. Prefix is the beginning, the first few letters in a word many common prefixes in English. And then the root is another word for suffix, right? It's the second part of the word, the word that the part of the word that comes at the very end. So we have prefix beginning, suffix or root at the very end of the word. Many English verbs begin with the prefix and a root. And listen for where that primary stress goes. Decide. Decide on the next step. Convince. Convince him to go. Refer. Refer to your notes. So if we want to come up with a generalization here, we can say in two syllable verbs, verbs that have a prefix and a root, the stress goes on the root form, not the prefix. The prefix is unstressed. You can you can hear the um, the vowel sound in the in the prefix is unstressed, right? It's reduced to a schwa. De, decide, con, convince, re, refer. See the difference in how the root, the vowel sound in the syllable of the root is much stronger, longer, clear, and a little bit louder, right, in terms of intonation. Decide, convince, refer. Hopefully that helps you two syllable verbs that have a prefix, the suffix or the root form carries the stress. And when we say prefix, d, con, re, dis, un, those are very common prefixes in English with verbs. So for exercise seven, what you're gonna do is you're gonna refer to these root forms, these suffixes here, and you're going to create two syllable verbs using these prefixes uh, in the chart here. So for example, con, convert, needs to change. Con, contain, contain or to keep, to hold. So come up with three more two syllable verbs, you picking any one of these root forms, well not any one, some of them like comport, I'm not familiar with that verb. You can look it up in the dictionary of course, you know Longman, our Longman dictionary. So if you're not quite sure, this is one of our useful tools, is comport. Yeah, comport exists, but not comport. So some words don't exist in English, and of course you can look them up just to double check and make sure, just to, you know, for good measure. But con, let's see, condict, no, conclude. We can say conclude, double check and make sure. To conclude is to finish something, right? To decide that something is true, to conclude, is to come to a conclusion, right? A decision. Also means to finish, too. All right, so that would be a good example for con. And then you're going to do the same thing with the other prefixes, picking the root form, matching it with the prefix to create a two-syllable verb, and again, that stress is always going to come on that root form.